It'd be cool if they kind of add that in. Maybe. When is Minecraft lore going to be done? Ever? Will it ever end? Generic intro in the deck goes me here back with some more Game Theory Minecraft videos. Today we're doing the Lost Cult of Minecraft Illagers, where it says Cult of Fools, where it looks like they're trying to summon Hero Brian into the nether or something like that. The last video was the scary crimes of the Minecraft Illagers, which was a really, really interesting theory. Talk about the Woodland Mansions and all that stuff, and you know how they got banished and whatnot. You can check my reaction to that video, I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description. And I probably should make a playlist on my channel for the Game Theory Minecraft lore videos, or maybe I should just make a a game theory playlist in general because I've already gone through all the Five Nights at Freddy stuff and I do a little random ones here and there but now we're doing the Minecraft lures and I'm not sure what we're going to do after this because there's only 24 of the Minecraft ones but I have enjoyed this so so much as someone that's played Minecraft for over 13 years now and I stream it every single Monday as well as so you can always stop by for that but we're learning about the Illagers uh, these series have been certainly interesting and Minecraft is way darker than I thought it would be shout out to the patrons because they get the videos there early and allow me to have a paywall channel could not do this if it was not for them three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos day early could not do this if it was not for them i do read all your comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not so definitely leave some comments down below and or subscribe i would re greatly appreciate that as we just hit ninety thousand, like literally today and uh we're making that approach for a hundred thousand subscribers which is a crazy milestone but let's go ahead and jump into the lost cult of minecraft illagers it also has 6.9 million views so nice uh -huh. interesting mm. Huh. Also, apparently, little like fairy huh. things weren't added okay. to the game yet. These guys don't have some sort of secret language like the Endermen. Stolen. Uh. Uh. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're just idiots. Yep, they definitely are. Calorie free episode. Hello, Internet, what? and welcome to a diet theory. Huh? And unlike all the other theories <laughs> that have their diet theories, this time I really mean it. I Is it am not short? joking around. These More mini diet theories, theories were originally meant to oh. be a smaller episode exploring new fun angles on recent topics that didn't fit into the main theory. And yet but every time I try to write one of these going. things, every time just they always going. wind up too long. Not this time, my friends. I swear, today we are not going to go past page two or like the ten minute mark. Even though uh, the outline for this episode is currently at four pages. Curse my verbosity. <laughs> today I want well, to dig a little bit deeper. The intro adds to it. Covering in our last Minecraft video. In that episode, we concluded that the Illagers were exiled from the Villager civilizations because they were experimenting with the powers and of life and death. And we know that like to some Herobrine. extent they've been successful. Does he have a video on Hero carry totems of undying, items that literally grant new life at the point of death. Now they live on the outskirts of society in the Woodland Mansion and so are very aggressive. Continuing their to experiments, converting villagers into guess. ravagers, and using huge stockpiles of blue, light blue, and cyan wool to construct replicas of Steve. At the end of my last theory, I hypothesized that perhaps Which those Steve clones may have inadvertently theory. led to the creation of the game's zombie menace. But that still left us with a lot of questions unanswered. What's the deal with the fake end portal rooms that you can also find in the Woodland I don't Mansions? Know. And why are there these giant replicas of cats and chickens that, hidden inside those that buildings? Just seems I mean, those random. are some weird details that I made a big to-do about in the last episode that I didn't actually have the chance to explain away. And then there's the issues with the Vindicate themselves. Why are their eyes blue? We established last time villager. that they're former villagers, and we know that every is it the other lapis? villager in the game has themselves it green could be eyes, lapis. including other illager types like the evoker. So then, why are the vindicator's eyes specifically blue? Again, mm, something that who probably else's eyes has are blue? itself a lore-based explanation out there somewhere. And lastly, a question that I think we were random. all thinking at the end of the last episode, if the illagers are indeed trying to create Steve clones, is but it why? possible that they accidentally created hero brine uh -huh. who i know is an established creepypasta and isn't an official thing in the game but oh, still, so that's why he does have a theory is it possible that he's an official it'd be part cool of if they kind of add that Today in we're cracking over Maybe. the first of this little three pack of diet theories the fake three end pack. portal rooms why they exist and their connection to a fascinating and incredibly tragic real life story that may that tell us a lot more or than we expect about the history of these minecraft villains so pull out your nether wart water and sugar my friends today we 
are going swift. As I brought up in the last episode, there are <laughs> that lots clever. of strange rooms hidden throughout the Woodland Mansion what hideouts. Is lava? But none of them are as suspicious as the fake end portal rooms. Why is there TNT, though? Used green and orange wool to roughly recreate the layout of an actual end portal. I mean, that's pretty darn weird. Like, there's lots of weird details and in that's games that really may weird. or may not have themselves a greater lore importance, but in this case, to take an end game location and place it in the hands of the villains in a way that they're trying to recreate it, it's definitely the devs trying maybe to tell they're us just something. Trying to, Especially when you, know, you consider that they were like included a book, in the game so it. much later than the end portals themselves. Like, maybe if the Woodland Mansion came first, then this would be them trying to hint at this mysterious stronghold's uh, but existence. But no, stronghold's been around for a long time. And how to use it. But end portals have practically been in the game since the very beginning. Since version 1.0.0. And remember Woodland 2011. Mansions were added to the game five years later. You don't put stuff like that in arbitrarily. It oh my feels god. Like I guess at that point I'd stop playing Minecraft. To crack it will actually tell yeah, it was. us a lot about the story of this game. And I that feel like I stopped I around 2015 beginning to wrap my maybe? head around what it all means. Now, let's think through this logically. The fact that the Illagers are trying to build a portal I mean, for I still themselves stream every tells Monday us now. a few important details. One, Illagers have somehow managed to see a stronghold at some point. Already an impressive feat. And two, not only did they see a stronghold, they somehow were able to understand that it was important enough to want to try and recreate it for themselves. Now, but how are they planning to do that to with talk wool? Too much about last time was the whole wool thing. I've Is already wool mentioned magical? using green and orange wool for their fake. Or maybe that's all they had. That would be interesting on its own. But that's not the only instance of unusual wool usage inside the mansions. For one, none of the beds in the mansion are, are beds. real beds, despite real beds having existed for years before the implementation of woodland. Wow, mansions. I started playing Instead Minecraft when beds, right when beds started. I started to playing March 2011. What a bed looks like by using white wool and various colors of carpet. Talk about itchy and like zero back support. It's no wonder the Illagers are always so cranky. Illagers that makes also sense, yeah. have themselves map rooms, which, once again, don't use crafted maps, but use carpet on a table to create the illusion of a map. Maybe All they can see it. Maybe they're a bunch of hippies and, like, they can cargo see. Culting. You see, cargo cults are an absolutely fascinating huh? phenomenon that actually happened in the aftermath of World War II. I have not Imagine heard of this. You live on a tiny, remote island in the middle of the ocean with just your fellow tribesmen, completely secluded Included from the rest of the world. And then all of a sudden, uh, giant metal birds appear out of the sky, metal birds. making loud roaring noises. The birds come Terrifying. to a stop on your island, and out of them step humans. People that look like you, but different. Different skin tones. And different also hair clothes. Tones. And they come bringing things that you never could have imagined. Pills that save lives. Clothes in bright colors and new materials. Food in metal containers. Objects that can take okay, down what the islands that they do this with to? just the push of a button. Machines that travel fast and never Who get brought a tank? Sometimes they bring all these things and they're flying birds. Are Sometimes they trying to basically like claim the territory? The island. While they're there, these visitors take time to build things. They clear long strips of land where their birds come and go. They put up these tall towers where they can be closer uh. to the heavens and where they talk <laughs> to themselves all day while wearing these strange ear coverings. They erect tents and shelters where they live. And then uh, after a year or two of these visitors coming base. and going, suddenly the birds stop landing. Everything that came with them goes away. They were like gods and you, not guess... fully understanding what brought them there in the first place, try everything to get them to come back. This is exactly huh? what happened to the small population of indigenous people Why on the Indonesian islands of the South Pacific during World War II. During. Islands like that Vanuatu, makes sense. Fiji, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands. Here they were, societies completely removed from Dude, the rest of the world, Fiji. existing in their own self-contained bubbles when all of a sudden, Japanese troops land on the island with ships and planes, carrying uh -huh. guns and medicines and supplies for their troops. Suddenly, you're aware of an entire world out there, a world uh, that is so far beyond where your civilization yeah. currently is. is the start thought of aliens like up here, you know? That's the equivalent of aliens coming to Earth. dropping supplies onto the island, causing crates of cargo to literally rain down from the heavens. Later and on they in the sent war, there will be beforehand. allied forces using these islands, bringing even more visitors and even more technology. But when the war ended and the they troops were suddenly stopped supplies coming, first, and the airdrop stopped they would be there happening, when they got there, some of the villagers were rightly left confused as to why it had all ended. Some claimed the Did reason like, was that nobody was running the airports anymore, and they started cults dedicated to rituals that involved lighting up the runways, waving signal cones around. They started to imitate the 
practices that they had seen the soldiers using. They carved headphones from wood and wore oh, them in fake control towers that what? they built. They started to mimic the marching hay? parades and the training drills that they had watched these visitors perform. They even used rifles that had been left behind, or when they ran out of those, they started USA carving on their back. new ones from local wood. They built life-sized replicas of airplanes and cut more runways into the jungles of the island just I, I don't think your runway should have a, a little I mean, curve these to were it. places and practices that seemed so important to the visitors when they were on the island, so maybe doing them again would summon them back. It's a wild story, right? And really, when you think about it, it's pretty darn sad, too. These people were operating under the idea of if you build it, they will come, but they never came again. Now, we obviously know that simply so, operating basically the ground it's like, oh, hey, the airport is going to built and people came. Drops, but to these islanders, how could they have thought any differently? Gods suddenly arrive from the heavens and then leave. And so you, not properly understanding the cause and effect of the whole thing, try yeah. to recreate the things that those visitors cared about. I mean, did they not the have term war cargo there? Cult was born, meaning a group of people who perform rituals without fully understanding the real mechanisms that work behind them. Now, the reason I tell you this story is that I believe that is exactly what we're seeing with the illagers. They see something called a bed and they try to recreate it using a bunch of wool, but they're missing the uh, point and about the crafting. Planks. They're missing it's the ability like the to craft. In fake radio towers with wooden headphones. On the <laughs> surface, they look the same. It is do, do they? In reality, I don't know. Those different. two things look the same. the same. I mean, the bed does the look the same. Maps, and it's especially true of their fake end portals. Anyone who's actually been to the end knows that you need to insert Eyes of Ender into the end portal frame oh, so blocks. Also, the lava the presence is gone. Of the lava doesn't really matter oh, I thought it had to have lava. the villagers, though, they seem convinced that all that was really important in that stronghold was the color, the number, and the arrangement of the blocks. This is especially true since they have access to lava in other rooms of the mansion, but they don't choose to use it in their recreation but, of the end. I mean, they also I mean, lock even it the up. Giant cat and chicken rooms in the woodland mansions seem tied to the cargo cult story. Just like you the villagers of Melanesia built replicas to the giant metal birds that came onto their island, the airplanes, so too are the illagers building replicas of these animals, I guess. I, I don't really know. I, I, don't, know why, I don't know why they bring cats, that maybe to for creepers. A portal room, the illagers had to have first seen a stronghold and secondly had to understand How would they have been taken to a stronghold, important. though? Maybe it's on a book? This is telling us I don't is know. that they must have seen an active end portal. It most likely indicates that they saw something go into, or more accurately, come out of that end portal. I think that this may be our strongest evidence yet that the ancient race of builders that we've been talking about throughout all of these Minecraft uh... theories, the one that built the ancient temples and mine shafts of the overworld, that maybe they originated on the other side of one of those portals. They pop on through into the villager and illager world and bring What is Minecraft the lore going to be done? Sophisticated Objects, ever like beds, will it ever maps, end knowledge of how to both mine and craft but then they leave for some reason and when they left there were those who remained that didn't quite get it and are doing whatever they can to bring them back again i'm not maybe, sure but consider maybe the they were just normal the villagers calls. then visitors arrive from another and they world, see that they bring with them technology and knowledge and then they're that like, allows them to make magical and things and that's what and made them leave, split the off maybe they weren't doing experiments their actions like i said i don't know if that's really what's going on here but to me it's definitely the best explanation i have mm. right now for all those those random rooms and objects in the woodland mansions. Next time we crack into a diet theory, Vindicators, Hero Brine, and the truth behind their eyes. Make sure you hit the that eyes. subscribe button to hopefully be notified when that one gets uploaded. And in the meantime, That'd be I hope great. that your That'd be next theories week. has been quenched because that was a theory. A that was a very theory. interesting theory and I learned Low a little bit of history and I still feel it. love history. How are you on time, guys? Oh, you did just great, man. Just, just great. You shaved off a whole Five. from a normal theory. By Zeus, I have to figure out a way to make these things shorter. Uh-huh. It's it's the intro, most likely. I see the warden down there. I still need to fight the warden. I have claimed an ancient city and I've made it completely safe. I've left one uh shrieker still active. It's encased in wool for the purpose of fighting the warden at some point. I think there's actually a purpose, like you get something if you fight the warden, but I definitely need to do it in a way that like you know is safe and doesn't destroy my ancient city because I plan on restoring the ancient city and bringing villagers into it and turn it into like an actual city, which is, I think, going to be really, really cool. I have it blocked off and everything. It's a massive project. I actually haven't been there in several months to work on it because I kind of started building a giant mountain and I'm actually almost done with that mountain. I'm actually just putting trees on it right now. But, ah, oh, dude, I love Minecraft. This was a very interesting theory. It has 6.9 million views, which is a nice number. Now I need to go stream Delta Room here in about 10 minutes. So, 
uh, I stream that on Saturdays. I'll be streaming today playing some Power World at 5 p.m. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're subscribed to some of the future videos. Hopefully I made your day a tiny little better. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing an asshole.